What's up, guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, create a day and night cycle effect, as you can see here. It, I sped it up for the tutorial. It's actually a lot slower than this. As you can see, it stays day for a while and fades to night and vice versa. This object is going to control all of that you just saw. It's going to, or I'm going to show you how to create that time space before it fades to dark and having it stay dark for a while and then fade back to daytime essentially and this object object light is going to be controlling basically 99% of it um yeah the object light pretty much controls 99% of that. The other 1% is controlled by the object underneath it, which is object light target. Now what this object does is it's got nothing in it. It's just a blank object that is created by objects that emit light. And I will show you what that does here in a second. It's actually super simple. Okay, so here's the create event. We have surf, which is surface. So surface create. We're gonna create the surface as the size of the room because we want the light to cover the entire room, obviously. And we want time zero, time one. Time zero is how much time is going to pass before the um, the daylight cycle changes and day zero and day one just control how quickly both surfaces will switch I'll explain it later it's it's a little complicated but yeah surface set target so we're gonna draw that same surface and draw the circle alpha around the targets here is the step event like I said day one or how, as you can see in the first line in, in the green box I have up here if day day array one is smaller than 500 it's going to increase it by one so that basically means that's how long that it's going to stay daytime or that's how long it's going to stay uh, that's how long it's going to stay in this the specific daytime that it is before it starts changing the day cycle that's pretty much what this entire box does it's just one thing that repeats the other except it's in reverse yeah it's really actually it looks really messy but it's actually really simple if you guys want to copy that down go ahead it's it's it, it will work trust me here we have um here we are going to control the surfaces basically so if the surface exists the surface that we created in this in the creation event that's the size of the room we are going to set that target if you guys don't know what that means just go check the yo-yo games docs and it'll explain it better I just want to keep this brief so this video isn't too long for you guys and draw set color time zero is the color value that you saw earlier um, that's like the dark dark of the navy dark blue color and we are going to draw set alpha time to the fade of that color and we are going to draw that over the surface here is the target that the surface is going to do the hole punching in and when I mean hole punching I, I mean that 
the way it works is it draws a surface over the screen and then draws a hole punch circle, so draw circle, at those light targets. And this is where object light target comes in. Any object that creates the object light target is a light target, so that's where the hole punch is going to be to give the light effect. So any object that wants to, any object that emits light is going to create object light target, and it's going to draw that hole punch circle at the object light target. That's how object light target works. The object itself is blank. Down here, we are going to blend the surface with the rest of the display basically. So draw set blend mode, we always want to use BM normal or blend mode normal. And we want to draw that surface at 100% its alpha. So draw set alpha to one, and then we are going to reset that surface. So the surface updates with the, uh, so, so the surface updates with the variables and the step above that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is just mandatory that requires, that's required for to be able to draw a surface over the screen. And this is the draw event. This is going to draw the surface over the screen. So if the surface doesn't exist, it's just going to create that surface over the room and then draw that surface over the screen, essentially. That's it. This is actually probably the simplest part of the code. I'm just trying to keep it as simple for you guys as possible. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's really anything else to explain. Not that I can think of. I think that's pretty much it. Because I... I've used this... I wrote this system a while ago. And I ported it over to this game. So, yeah, it works in both. So it does work. It should work for Game Maker Studio. This is the room end. The room end is going to... I'm sorry. You have to put this in the room end. So, this is going to make sure that the surface is reset whenever you change rooms. So, it doesn't create multiple surfaces over your game. Because, yeah, that gets really buggy. So, make sure that you do put this in. Because a lot of people put the system in their games and they forget to put this in and have no idea how to fix it when their whole light system falls apart. So yeah, make sure you put this in. But that is the tutorial on lighting for your platformers or 2D games game maker. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.